Okay, this is a Zeiss uh, Exoscope, and it's equipped with a lot of goodies. One of them is this uh, 360 rotatable binocular head. As you can see, this is uh, very useful for accommodating different heights, and uh, so you don't really need a inclinable head. You've got this really nice swivel 360 head, and uh, <clears throat> you've got on the left side a focusable diopter eyepiece. It's a PL10X, 20 field number, accommodated for eyeglass wearers. And so you can accommodate different uh, visual acuities and remain par focal. Okay, moving right on down, we've got uh, the nose piece, which is a six place nose piece. Most nose pieces uh, are five place. This is a six place. It's equipped with uh, a couple of uh, very nice lenses, and I'm going to explain those in a second. Um, you've got a 10x Acroplan, which is a Plan Acromat, and you have next Plan Neofluors, which are the state-of-the-art lenses for Zeiss, and they're especially useful for fluorescence microscopy, which this microscope has a complete 50 watt HBO mercury light source. And so next is, next to the 40X Neofluor is a Plan Neofluor uh, 100X and it has a numerical aperture of 1.30 for oil. It's a very high resolution, very high numerical aperture oil objective lens. <clears throat> Moving on down you've got a, a nice low position coaxial stage. The Coaxial drive is very low, which makes it comfortable for somebody who wants to leave their hand resting on the table while they're focusing. And it also has this specimen holder, and you know, it's a, it's a nice metallic finish. So everything's in very, very good shape on this microscope. A little bit lower is the condenser, and it's focusable, meaning that you can raise it or lower it. It has a flip out lens, so you can accommodate lower power objective lenses like a 2x or a 4x. There's a diaphragm. It's centerable and it, it works beautifully. It has a field diaphragm which is centerable and so you can set this microscope up for true color illumination. Okay. Moving over to the uh, right side you can see the fluorescence unit. It's a 50 watt HBO uh, power supply and it works in conjunction with this 50 watt mercury lamp housing that's back here. Moving to the front, there are there is a set of of epifluorescence uh, filter cubes. I believe these are set up for DAPI, which is uh, low UV, and um, fluorescence FITC, which is mostly for FITC, which is fluorescein isothiocyanate. By the way, the middle position is for viewing in bright field when you're not doing fluorescence. It's very useful. There's a, a filter uh, stop here so that you can, you can prevent light from coming through here while you're doing bright field and it won't interfere with the specimen quality. You've got centering mechanisms for centering the, the field diaphragm for the vertical illuminator. And everything that's on this microscope works beautifully. It's in tip-top shape, and you'd be very pleased with this microscope.